still it was a judgment on something that I created and obviously it stuck with me all these years. I still remember it to this day. So did one statement when I was seven affect my art 50 years later? I knew Bluetooth before Bluetooth was invented. This was in Mrs. Underwood's first grade class. She gave us an art assignment to do a soft portrait and we did it out of clay. Started out with a ball of clay, flattened it out into a round disc, shaped the nose, added eyes, hair, a mouth, I added a huge toothy grin. Then it was time for paint. I remember painting my hair brown and my eyes blue. But then for a reason I don't remember, I painted the teeth blue. And it wasn't just the teeth, I did a outside the lips blue paint job. And I still remember Mrs. Underwood coming up behind me and saying, Honey, why did you paint your teeth blue? Your teeth aren't blue. Blah, blah, blah. Seriously, 50 years that has stuck with me. And she was probably right, but still it was a judgment on something that I created and obviously it stuck with me all these years because I can still, I still remember it to this day. Last year I joined a, an online sketch group based in the UK. It was an ink and watercolor sketch group and they gave out the assignment or challenge. This month's challenge is to use the colors of the rainbow in your next painting. I had attempted to paint the Aloha Theater a couple times before and it never turned out right. I tried to stay in the lines, I tried to use that drab yellow color. It's such an interesting old building I wanted to attempt it again. I was going to use the colors of the rainbow to paint this building. Traffic <laughs> I drew the basic structure of the building and then I pulled out my watercolors. I started on the left side with red. Instead of trying to control the paint, I just let it flow freely as I worked my way across the image with the rest of the rainbow colors. I threw in some splashes of color to add more life. I finished it off with some detailed ink work. We used that initial colors of the rainbow sweep to capture the main elevation and then he's added extra colors on, on top as well. And as you, as you said, Rebecca, he's dragged colors down into the bottom. So it, it, it's really successful. That day, my art changed. I changed. My colors no longer have to match reality. They can be whatever I can think of in my head. In fact, I think these colors brought this old drab yellow building to life. It made it much more interesting. These two events were about 50 years apart and it took me a year to bring it together in my head that my colors don't have to match reality. Why did all my colors have to be realistic? Why do I have to stay in the line? Where was my freedom to create? Gosh, traffic. So did that one statement from 50 years ago shape my art? Not anymore.